Well, this is the exhibition, and uh, it's called 26. Yeah. We've been writing 26 years, and there's 26 letters in the alphabet. Wow. So that's what that's about. And this car uh, represents a lot of my influences growing up in Los Angeles. Um, ever since I can remember lowriders, you know, the, the yeah. patterns and the colors were something that just had a, a huge effect on me. So I thought it was only... Uh, proper to put one in the show and this is actually my first one so um, it's a legendary car painted by some legendary painters that passed away but I'm, I'm paying homage to them and mm. it, it, it reflects in my work when you see the colors and the patterns. And so this is a Chevrolet? This is 67 Impala. 67 Impala. Wow. And so you got it from a bunch of guys who were looking after it and kept it in good shape and uh yeah, my friends are in a, a car club called Lifestyle Car Club, mm. and um, I've always been around the cars, and uh, I picked a couple up. So. I hear uh, it's got hydraulics and stuff. Yeah. And so you were running this in the um, in the opening. You had like no, no, we didn't. <laughs> we, had, we just had a park in there. My mom and my daughter were actually sleeping inside of it. <laughs> what garden it? Oh, yeah. Nice. And uh, how many uh, hours were spent on the? Um, the exterior, interior, oh, renovating the interior. This, these things are uh, never ending. You know, they, they, I've replaced the engine three times. And the interior's probably been done twice. Yeah. The paint job is probably the original paint job. Uh, I think it's about 15 weeks for the repaint this car. Wow. Yeah. And uh, do you actually drive this or is it in storage? It's in storage, but I do drive it. <laughs> So this is like a lot of turquoise, you know, kind of metallics and stuff. Is this like your signature color or did you just go with the original? This is, uh, these colors are real prevalent in my work. Uh, I use like, you know, if you look at that H up there, um, yeah. it's almost like a mirror off of this car. The P, it's just, uh, these are colors I use and, and these are, the lowrider cars have been the big influence of mine. So. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Back when I was writing on you know, things like this, you with the, the buildings and stuff like that. So, and then you have typical block letters that you know you see all over the freeways. And, work. and then I try to mix a little like painterly fine art stuff with some of the wood and maybe some of the stuff raw. <coughs> so basically, I just tried to encompass everything I've ever done with graffiti through the alphabet. So do you have like uh, like the whole alphabet here? Yeah, the A's right there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Every yeah. single one of them. Cool. How long have you been uh, writing? 26. 26 years and 26. Okay, I just want to get that straight. Uh, respect you a lot, man. I got a lot of your pictures. Oh, right yeah. yeah cool. Big wrist pictures for red and black, dude. So after, after, good. after 26 years, how would you do it differently? If, uh, my son uh -huh. just started, but couple years ago. Uh -huh. Now you're looking back at your career. How what would you be your what would be your advice to him that he's just starting? How would he do, um, go about doing it? I don't know that I would do anything different. I would never let anyone uh, tell me I can't do something. You know, I had graffiti wasn't accepted when I was doing it as it is now. Uh, and I kept doing it, you know, but I didn't have people behind me to appreciate it as an art form. Um, so I think the ball is in you know, your guy's court now, it's just doing what you want to do. And I don't think that, also one thing I would say is like, things that changed from when I was younger is, you know, do whatever you want to do, whether it be spray paint or acrylic or anything, it doesn't have to be, you know, do whatever you want to do. Um, you know, a lot of the backgrounds I use on these stencils is something that when I was younger, we would never do. Right, that's ever. the first thing I noticed. I was telling him that yeah. what I really dig is the background work. And I'm, I'm using it like, I don't use it as a crutch. I have what they call as can control. I can make a straight line. I don't need a stencil. So I could use it as texture. Um, but it's just ironic. The most ironic thing about the show when I walk around is looking at the stencils because I, I, I had, you know, physical altercations in the yards when I was younger where people t pick up cardboard, you know, and it's just like, now I see there's no boundaries. It's all about what you want to do and just never be scared to try anything new or do what you want to do. I think that's what I would say. Did you have any limitations on locations like where you would and wouldn't paint? Yeah, I mean, everyone has their own personal things. You know, I'm not going to paint, uh, you know, a church or, or, or a living thing or, or, you know, I don't like disrespecting. I don't like to paint public property, not that I haven't done it, 
a million times. Um, I, I, I tend to pick things that you'd have a hard time disagreeing that I made it better.